No mai, haere mai, welcome into live coverage of day two, the second final session of the Apollo Project's New Zealand Swimming Championships, live from Tamato Amaui Hawke's Bay Regional Aquatic Centre. Joining me in commentary tonight and across the week, uh, former Olympian, 2012 Olympian Stephen Kenton, World Surf Life Saving Champion, with a whole lot of great comments to, uh, to join me in commentary. Uh, Steve, it was a much busier heat session this morning than yesterday. Very exciting, in fact, with a number of fantastic swims. And just recapping on some of those now, three swimmers getting the junior Pampax qualifying time, uh, which was uh, great to do it so early in the season. Yeah, we had uh, Jasper Milan in the 100 back and then Monique in the 100 breaststroke this morning. So really great job to be putting themselves forward for a New Zealand team later on in the year. The next standout performance was in the 50 butterfly for women with Hazel Owlhand uh, lowering and going under the 26 second mark for the very first time, which was a spectacular swim, very well executed. Yeah, I think uh, just executed race plan, like you said, there was nothing wrong with it. Got the perfect touch, got the time she wanted, and I'm sure she went faster tonight. And good to see Zoe Pedersen right next to her get the New Zealand age group record for 16-year-olds as well in the same event. So 26.87, a very good swim from her. And Erica Fairweather sort of finishing up in that 200 freestyle. 0.01, or 0 .01, just above her own New Zealand record, showing that she is in fantastic form and really putting her foot down here. Yeah, I think the key part is um, she's pushing herself in the heats as well here, so great practice in her build-up uh, towards Paris 24. Now let's start uh, this evening session. We're going to have a bit of fun to start with with the Masters Relay. Now you and I were swimming this morning at 5.30 and uh, we were watching some of these Masters and they're all gearing up and practicing their relay changeovers. So that's a bit of a fun start. Yeah, it'll be good to see. Good to see the Masters down here for uh, it's mainly from Hiratonga. So yeah, great to swim with them this morning and see uh, what speed they had this afternoon. And then they can stay around and watch some fantastic racing. We kick off with the 100 metre backstroke for the men where there's just a whole number of swimmers right in there. Jeff Coat, uh, Dell Harland with a fantastic performance this morning. Yeah, great to see uh, Finn Harland get down under that 55 mark for the first time. So he'll be uh, almost the young gun of these guys um, pushing them forward. And, you know, let's see what we can get out of these boys tonight. Helena uh, Gasson, uh, she's in lane four. Letitia Lee Transom opting to pull out of the 100 backstroke, perhaps for that 200 freestyle later. So she's probably going to the, the favourite. Yeah, definitely, and I think uh, what happened this morning, uh, Helena executed a race plan, fastest time she's ever done PB, so she'll be looking to uh, dominate that one tonight. 50 butterfly, Cam Gray, Chris Elson, Cam Gray, 23.6, about 0.3 away from his lifetime best and his New Zealand record, looking to see how what he can do, and also Hazel back to see if she can lower that mark even further. Lily Fox Mason, 100 metres butterfly, her main event. She was just outside that para qualifying standard. Let's hope she can do that tonight. Yeah, I think uh, what she's looking to do is probably bring it home harder in that second 50. So um, night swim, bit of energy from the crowd. Hopefully we'll get her through to that time. 200 freestyle for men, Lewis Clearbert and uh, Zach, um, Zach will be there. Zach Reed, um, stroke for stroke, I'm sure. Josh Gilbert in the 100 breaststroke. Is it a bridge too far to get under the minute and break that New Zealand record and qualify? Let's see, see what he's got tonight. Yeah, it's good to see these um, breaststrokers. I know uh, Josh and then Monique in the, in the women's as well, really trying to push towards those uh, Olympic qualifying times. And we need more breaststrokers in New Zealand, so we've got to keep pushing them and lifting them up. And finishing with that, uh, that 200 freestyle for women, that very important one where selections will be made for the 4x200 metre freestyle relay for, relay for Paris. Uh, and so that'll be one to watch. And then we finish with the 4x100 metre mixed medley relay. So, Steve, we don't want to uh, delay any further. Let's get underway with our second final session. Please put your hands together and welcome our technical officials as they make their way onto pool deck. Introducing your technical officials for this evening's session, session four. Your starters for this evening, for the women's event, Joe Russell. 
For the men's events, Ross Gillespie. Referees for the women's events, Greg Forsyth. And for the men's events, Leslie Huckins. And technical director of these championships, Carlene Gillespie. Well, we now turn our attention to some of the master elite athletes from uh, the Hawks Bay. And they were busily training this morning, readying themselves for this event. And there's some real talent here in master swimming. And uh, we'll just run through these teams in lane two is the older Devils. Lane three is the Green Queens. Lane four is the Oldish Devils. Lane five is the Oldest Devils. And lane six is simply the Old Devils. We'll hand you over to our technical officials to get them underway. And away they go, lots on the line here. Steve, you were in the squad this morning. Yeah, some beautiful uh, looking starts here uh, to start this oldies relay. This is a four by 50 meter freestyle relay, so you can see the next swimmers lining up at the other end. Looks like lane two, the older Devils at the moment out in the lead. Some classy looking relay changeovers there, Scotty. Yeah, probably some Negative zero sixes there, perhaps. <laughs> the oldest yeah. devil's coming through on the second 50 now. This is a good, uh, good leg here by lane five. This is uh, the oldest devils. Just starting to hit the brick wall now by the looks of it. The piano has well and truly fallen in that final 10. Nice safe changeovers there, Scott. So that's good to see. No DQs happening as uh, typical in Masters. There's normally uh, the uh, extra little uh, go for they need. <laughs> but uh, making sure of their clean touches. Great to see these swimmers keeping active with their swimming, keeping fit and still having a competitive edge. And them obviously taking part in Masters swimming or triathlons or any other aquatic activities. And at the moment is the oldest Devils, which some would be surprised with. The older Devils in second and old Devils in third. Someone was really creative with these relay names. It's going to come down to the final 25 metres. The oldest Devils lead at the moment being chased down by the older Devils. Yeah, well, I think Willie Benson came up with these names, obviously, Scott, so he's... Uh Done a good job putting these teams together. Nice even finish here. And there they go, 202.42 for the oldest Devils. And they will certainly dine out on that one. And we've still got uh, the Green Queens coming through in lane three. Be a bit of a celebration tomorrow morning at, uh, tomorrow morning at 5.30. Roll out the red carpet for the oldest Devils. And put your hands together for the Green Queens, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming to be a part of the Apollo Projects New Zealand Swimming Championships. And we'll have a look at that official result. It's a shame we didn't see Willie in there tonight, Scott. He's obviously uh, got some business. Didn't to feel like he was ready yeah. for this one. He had every excuse under the sun, old Willie, but... Uh, He'll be back next time, I'm sure. There's the result. We'll be back after this break to kick off Event 7, the final of the men's 100 metres backstroke.
Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. Welcome back in to day two, session four, the second of our final session live from the Hawke's Bay Regional Aquatic Centre. Uh, we just had a bit of fun with uh, a local relay from our master swimmers here in the Hawke's Bay, won by the Oldish Devils. Now we move to event seven, the final of the men's 100 metres backstroke. Introducing the swimmers to you now. In lane eight from Swim Zone Racing, Daniel Williams. Lane one from North Shore Swimming Club, Samuel Potching. Lane seven from Tahiti, our visitor, Kiha Desbordes. Lane two from Coast Swimming Club, Jasper Cornish. Lane six from Neptune Swim Club, Kane Follows. Lane three from Coast Swim Club, Finn Harland. Lane five from Club 37, Andrew Jeffcoat. And lane four from Club 37, Zach Dell. And away they go, this is the fastest 800 backstrokers in New Zealand, away they go, nice start from Andrew Jeffcoat in lane 5, wasting no time to get out in front just by a fingernail over Zach Dell. Yeah, looked like Jeffcoat really wanted to nail his start there, get out in the lead and take on this race from the front. Jeffcoat goes through well and truly first, 26.09, he's gone 0.3 quicker down the first 50. Jeff Goat still in front, not a lot in it. Zach Dell coming through. Finn Harland looking great in lane three. Now in lane six, Kane follows. Kane follows is right there as well. Kane follows coming quickly. Can Jeff Coat hold on? Follows and Jeff Coat. And Jeff Coat will win in 54-28. What a finish, nothing in it, just point, point 0.4 across the first three place getters and it was a fast finishing follows but Jeff Coat got there in the end for the national title. Really good racing there by those guys. We know they'll be a little bit disappointed with the times there, they're always wanting to go faster and do personal best but Andrew Jeff Coat, another national championship. You know, he's, um, he's done the job tonight to uh, take that title home.
Andrew, uh, a win, a national title, congratulations, but clearly by the look on your face, uh, a little bit of disappointment there too. Yeah, it's um, a lot different this time around because I know I'm fast enough to make the games. Um, we've got another opportunity later on in the 200, so, you know, they're saying that we need to prepare for and look forward to later. Um, but yeah, it's, it's disappointing, but, you know, you're still going to be able to show up later on in the week. Like I said, there's another opportunity later on. Um, you know, and if that doesn't go to plan, then I've had a pretty good career, so yeah, pretty happy with that. A fantastic start to get away from a competitive field there, a, a, a good 0.2.3 margin at the 50 mark, and then gutsy to hold on right at the end with fast finishing people on either side. So I think you can take a lot away from that one, but looking forward to seeing you in the 200. So cheers, mate. Thank you. Next up is event eight, the women's 100 metre backstroke. We would like you to put your hands to you and then welcome to the pool deck, the B finalists. B final of the women's 100 metres backstroke in lane one from Hitatonga Sun Devils, Zoe Enor. Two from Hitatonga Sun Devils, Breeze Van Belhusen. Three from Hamilton Aquatics, Pippa Mihaka. Four from Club 37, Jesse Walsh. Welsh. And five from North Shore, Liv Peebles. Six from Coast, Savannah Eve Martin. Seven from Greendale, Holly Stanford. And lane eight from Hitatonga Sun Devils, Charlotte Cole. Liv Peebles going through that first 50 there in 30.79. These girls will be wanting to improve on their uh, heats from here this morning, uh, Scotty, just to make sure they're uh, going for their own personal best and utilise this B final swim. Yeah, Liv Peebles still holding on to that lead, uh, but a fast finishing. Pippa Mihaka from Hamilton is challenging. Being left behind Jessie Welsh at the moment. Does she have anything left? In lane six, Savannah Eve Martin. Coming through too, but it will be Pippa Mihaka with a fast finish, fast 20, last 25. Gets there with 103.05, which is uh, a good 0.6 of a second faster. In fact, 0.8 of a second faster almost than her heat this morning. And there's that replay of Pippa Mihaka storming home in that last 10 metres, really showing her endurance to bring that B-final home. Just waiting on that official result of the B-final before we get underway with the A-final. And there it is, six seconds separating first to eighth. 
We now move to introduce the A finalists of the women's 100 metres backstroke. In lane eight from Coast Swimming Club, Amber George. Lane one from Coast Swimming Club, Zylika Pratt-Smith. Lane seven from Club 37, Isabel Gibson. Lane two from Hamilton Aquatics, Gina McCarthy. Lane six from Coast Swimming Club, Milan Glintmeyer. Lane three from Club 37, Gabby Farmasili. Lane five from Hitatonga Sun Devils, Emma Godwin. And lane four from Coast Swim Club, Helena Gasson. Could this be another qualifying standard met? Helena Gasson comes out in front in lane four alongside her, the 200 specialist Emma Godwin. Down the first 25, Steve, what are we looking for? Well, oh, that was a really great start by Helena there, right up on that sort of 14 and a half metre line for that breakout. Should be looking to really lift it up and nail this underwater off the turn as well. Let's have a look at the split through the first 50. Gasson turns together with Emma Godwin, 29.60. It's going to have to be a very, very fast second 50. We just saw that underwater come back again, one of Helena's great strengths. She'll be wanting to really drive through those legs through this 25 to 35 metre mark, Scott. Helena Gasson gutsing it in the final 20 metres. She's got half of one length over Emma Godwin. Gasson stroking through to the final. 1 minute point five one. just outside her heat swim she will take the national title and you do wonder Steve whether that first 50 was just a little bit slow but hey I'm sure the team will look at that uh, and needed to work very hard in that second 50 yeah still really good skill showing there by Helena so for people at home of um, how to nail 100 backs Backstroke can execute some really good skills across the board. Helena showed them there, 14 and a half metres on that first wall, 14 and a half metres off that second wall, that's a really good swim. And just to put into perspective, the New Zealand record at minute point two two been held for 14 years, uh, 15 years in fact, uh, just point three of a second off that one. So we'll catch a word with Helena Gasson. Helena Gasson, national champion. I'll give you the mic. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I hit PB'd my 100 back a couple of times this year, and that was really the goal and what I wanted to do, so I'm pretty happy. You just point three of a second off that New Zealand record uh, held by Emily Thomas. Um, and you've had a big big year with a little bit of injury earlier on and, and having to recoup from that, and, and you had you got married. That was cool. So. Um, Look, looking ahead for the rest of the meet now, what else are we going to see you in? Um, I'm going to definitely be doing the 200 back. I mentioned in the 2am, but I'm not sure about that, and the 50 breaststroke. 
50 breasts, that'd be a good one. Hey, look, I think looking back at that, you know, what a gutsy finish there. You had them coming from either side, but a, a, a fantastic turn at the other end to get some real real uh, distance from the rest of the swimmers off that wall. That must be something you really work on, your turns, your, your, your breakouts, and your underwater work. Yeah, skills is a big part of coast swimming and Michael's philosophy, and that really comes across in how specifically I swim short course. Well, fantastic. Well done on the national title again, Helena. Well done. And just want to acknowledge, welcome back, uh, Isabel Gibson, uh, Steve, a, a junior Pan Pacific qualifying mark in there, and obviously uh, Helena helping and the other swimmers helping to pull through some of these age group swimmers in that final. Yeah, great to see another one on that team. Um, day two, we're already sort of around that five, six mark, so uh, well done to Isabel. We move now to event nine, the men's 50 metres butterfly. Please put your hands together. Welcome to the other end of the pool, the B finalists. B final A1, Tom Gold, 2 Hugo Rothall, 3 Iyad Musad, 4 Blake Elliott, 5 Eko Shibuya, 6 Luke O'Connor, 7 Kyle Twist and 8 Sam Kenny. How are we tracking Steve? Yeah good start in the middle, just want to mention Iyad Masood here who uh, swam in Doha for the refugee team so he's uh, trying to buy for his time um, later on in the week for the Olympic spot. Anyone could pick it, it looks like maybe no, it was Blake Elliott, 25.31, but a very good swim from Tom Gold over there in lane one to snatch second. He did a 25.8 this morning, a 25.5 tonight in the B final. And well done to any of the swimmers that have uh, gone lower than their heat time or their PB. These 50, Scotty, always close. It comes down to those finishes to get right. Here's those official results. Blake Elliott, 25.31 for the win there. We move now to introduce to you the A finalists of the men's 50 metres butterfly. Lane 8 from Napier Aquahawks, Caleb Carlisle. Lane 1 from North Shore Swim Club, McAllister Clark.
Lane seven from Oamaru Swim Club, Liam McGowan. Lane two from Coast Swim Club, Fergus Eady. Lane six from Club 37, Jack Hendy. Lane three from Viking Swim Club, Christopher Elson. Lane five from St. Paul's Swimming Club, Ben Littlejohn. And lane four from Coast Swimming Club, Cameron Gray. New Zealand record holder Cameron Gray in lane four. He was 0.4 of a second faster than anyone else through the heats. Beautifully relaxed stroke through the first 25. He's got it by quarter of a body length at the moment. Cameron Gray leads in lane four. Christopher Elson sitting in second. Perhaps a good swim here from lane six. Jack Hendy from Club 37. Cameron Gray goes to the wall. He will win it 23.79. Christopher Elson takes the silver and Ben Littlejohn in lane five, the bronze and just Ilson and Carlisle to go under their heat times this morning and by looking at some of the reactions a little bit of disappointment on the faces of these guys to not have to uh, go a little bit faster than the heats but well done and congratulations to Cameron Gray for winning his first national title of these championships yeah, I really like the swim there by um, Christopher Elson. Came through on that last 15 metres and really tried to ramp it up. So I'm really looking forward to that 100 butterfly as well, Scott, with probably um, similar guys in that final as well. Congratulations on your national title, Cam. 50 butterfly, one down, but the main focus, I guess, for these championships, the 100 metres butterfly. Yeah, 100 fly and 100 free. Just got to give a good crack at both and see what happens. Now, I remember talking to you, your focus for Doha was, of course, the 100 metres freestyle with the event you did over there, but in terms of the share of training and what you're doing between butterfly and freestyle, pretty even or? Yeah, pretty even. I um, have switched to a little bit more of a butterfly focus, so probably still pretty 50-50, but... Sometimes the freeze better when the fly's been worked a bit more, so we've we'll been rolling with that. Um, just thinking without the 50 butterfly here, um, you know, the positives you take out of that race or anything constructive you'll take back to the coach? Um, yeah, I guess it just kind of it felt pretty smooth. I mean, the time wasn't that great, but I guess it'll be a good, good uh, lead out for the 50 tomorrow and the first 50 of the 100. Put your hands together for Cameron Gray, ladies and gentlemen, 50 metres butterfly national champion. We move now to the next event on the program. It is event 10, the Women's 50 Metres Butterfly Final. And introducing the swimmers to you, in lane eight from Neptune, Ismay Patterson.
Lane one from Coast Swimming Club is Milan Glintmeyer. Lane seven from Neptune, Poppy Henderson. Lane two from Pukekohe Swim Club, Paige Shindelar Kemp. Lane six from United Swimming Club, Amy Crosby. Lane three from Coast Swimming Club, Laura Quilter. Lane five from Coast Swimming Club, Zoe Pedersen. Lane four from Phoenix Aquatics, Hazel Hourhand. New Zealand record holder Hazel Hourhand in lane four. She was a full second in front of the rest of her swimmers in this final. And let's see what she can deliver tonight. A perfectly executed swim this morning. Let's see what we get. And Laura Quilter in lane three, pushing hard. And in lane five, it is the New Zealand 16-year-old age group record holder Zoe Pedersen. To the wall, 26.11. Second goes to Laura Quilter in a surely a best time of 26.58, and a new New Zealand age group record for Zoe Pedersen, 26.61. Fantastic racing. Yeah, nice, uh, all nice finishes there. It's good to see those girls right up getting um, next to Hazel there. And uh, Zoe to come away with a great finish there for that 26.61, so a little bit faster than that NZR she got this morning. So a really good job there by Zoe. Congratulations, Hazel, on a national title for you, 26-1-1. Your reaction? Um, honestly, I'm a bit disappointed. I wanted to do a 25 again. I wanted to do a PB from this morning, but it is what it is. Yeah, just fractions of a second, really. It can be any, anything from a, you know, the underwater or the, uh, the streamline or whatever it might be or the finish, but uh, a talented field. Um, coming through Zoe Pedersen on your outside 16 year old New Zealand uh, age group record again for her so uh, but hey you've, you've gone under 26 for the first time you should be very proud now looking ahead to the rest of the champs I guess yeah tomorrow we've got the 100 fly we'll be looking at getting that Paris qualification hopefully in the morning fingers crossed um, but we'll see what happens well congratulations put your hands together for Hazel Hourhand what a day you've had today congratulations 
And we're going to be back after this quick break for our next events on the program. Welcome back to the program here, session four finals of the Apollo Projects New Zealand Swimming Championships. Uh, I have Stephen Kent, 212 Olympian, alongside me commentating the events tonight. We move now to event 107, the 100 metres butterfly for men, multi-classification. Introducing the swimmers for you now. In lane six from Club 37, it's David Beck. Lane three from Pukekohe Swim Club, Joel Watkins. Lane five from Club 37, Denver Xavier. Lane four from North Shore Swim Club, Asher Smith Franklin. Asha Smith-Franklin wasn't far away from the New Zealand record in the S14 class for this event this morning. It's a 1 minute point two four, And he tears away from the start as he does. We've got two S19s, Joel Watkins and Denver Xavier, and two S14s in David Beck and Asha Smith-Franklin. And S14 being a intellectual impairment. 28.97 through that first 50 there for Asher. He'll be looking to probably try and break that minute for the first time, Scotty, which will give him that NZR and that infamous 60.0 times. Always a good one to crack in any event. Well, he's going to have to come back, Stephen, a 31.0 something uh, to do it. But we know he's got, he does a, a whole lot of training there at North Shore. He's got that base behind him. He loves racing, Asher Smith Franklin. And let's see what time he does do. 101.42, just a little bit slower than his heat this morning. And I thought that would have been a pretty good split if he'd gone 28 late and a 31. But he's come back. And look at those green times on the board. Best times or better times for Joel Watkins, Denver Zabia and David Beck. Good to see that improvement from those heats to finals for those young men. Uh, they've obviously worked on what they wanted to get better from this morning and uh, had a good warm-up, good preparation. So well done, lads. Congratulations, Denver. You are the champion. How do you feel? I feel very good. That was a great time from you. Is that your best time you've ever done? Yes. Now tell us, what is your favorite stroke, Denver? Is this your favorite stroke, or are we going to see other events this week? This is, can be my favorite stroke. 
Well, you have beaten a very quality field there, Denver. Put your hands together, our national champion for the multi-classification 100 butterfly. We move to the next event on the program. It is 108, the women's 100 metres butterfly multi-classification. Introducing the swimmers to you now, lane five from Whadanui Swim Club, Lily Fox Mason. And lane four from Whakatane Swimming Club, Chloe Gladwin. And uh, pretty even starts from these two swimmers swimming in two different multi-classifications. Uh, and Lily Fox Mason hunting for that Paralympic qualifying standard of 113.42. And you can see she was just 0.2 of a second outside of that in the heats this morning. And Chloe Gladwin, Steve, she's had a fantastic champ so far. Yeah, she'll be going for her third gold medal of the championships already on night two. So Chloe's been uh, swimming really well already. Heaps of PBs, so good on her. Let's see what these girls do on the second 50 now. Lily wanted to get a little bit faster, I think, from this morning on the second 50. So we've got to keep that hip drive going. Sneaky little breasts just to make sure those hips stay nice and high. Good lot of support from the sidelines from the Whadanui and Whakatane swim clubs. Let's try and get Lily Fox Mason through, make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. 113.42 is the time we need to see. Oh, just outside. And two one hundredths faster than her heat this morning. Chloe Gladwin going three seconds faster than her heat time this morning painfully close to that Paralympic qualifying standard for Lily Fox Mason. So a great win there for Chloe Gladwin, and that is a 16 and under New Zealand record for the S19 category for Chloe. Congratulations on that and the national title. We move now to event 11, the final of the men's 200 metres freestyle. Introducing your finalists in lane eight from Capital Swim Club, Joshua Amies. Lane one from Coast Swimming Club, Jack Pottier. Lane seven from Coast Swimming Club, Sam Brown. Lane two from Faranui Swim Club, Matthew Hutchins. Lane six from Coast Swimming Club, Brendan Visser. Lane three from Club 37, Carter Swift. Lane five from Neptune, Zach Reed. Lane four from Club 37, Lewis Clearbird.
Well, Lewis Clearbird in lane four, the only qualifier to the final under 150 this morning. And you did sense, Steve, that a few of these swimmers just holding back a little bit of uh, a little bit of the energy for tonight's uh, final. Yeah, three Olympians in this race, and then you had on uh, Carter Swift, who's been to the world champs, so really top field tonight. Carter Swift using his speed on that first 50, 24 9 1. I know, talked to Matt Hutchings, he talked about getting that first 100 right and then um, having a crack in that uh, second 100 tonight as well. Matt Hutchins in a great position here. Carter Swift obviously wanting to get a bit of speed off the start. Lewis Clearbert biding his time in lane four. But what about Zach Reed? We know he's got a fantastic back end. And the qualifying time for uh, Paris set at 1.46.26, one of the faster ones. In fact, 0.9 of a second under the New Zealand record. Looking at the split, Lewis Clearbert takes the lead. 52-3-2 from Lewis there, Carter in just behind and then Matt under the 53 mark. It's about building through this third 50 now, getting aggressive but holding your stroke, Scott. Carter Swift just starting to uh, drop back a little bit now. Matt Hutchins alongside him, Lewis Clearbird out on his own. Zach Reed starting to come back now. The kick's starting to come in for Zach Reed. Lewis Clearbird's going to be hard to catch, Matt Hutchins right there. 2016 Olympian, Matt Hutchins. Zach Reed pushing hard. Lewis Clearbert, how fast can he go? Could this be a new New Zealand record, ladies and gentlemen? Looking at the clock for 147.09. Lewis Clearbert. Oh, just outside the New Zealand record that has been held since 2014. But that, ladies and gentlemen, the fastest 200 freestyle we've seen in a decade by Lewis Clearbert. He wins it. Zach Reed takes second. And Matt Hutchings will take the bronze from lane two. Yeah, that was a well put together race there. Lewis had his race plan, obviously, all set up. Wanted to pick it up through that second 50, build on it on the third, and then bring it home like he does uh, in preparation for that 400 AM, I'm guessing as well. So really excited to see someone back in that 147 low zone, Scott. Yeah, he looks uh, pretty happy about that. We'll catch a word with Lewis Clebert about that national title. Brendan Visser took out fourth, Carter Swift fifth. Congratulations, Lewis, uh, a national title, clearly in great form uh, coming into this. Uh, your reaction to that, that win tonight? Yeah, I mean, obviously happy to do a PB. You know, that's, that's the first and foremost goal, I guess, coming into these comp this competition. I was aiming for the NZR, but, you know, came up a little bit short. But I think, you know, after this morning's swim, I was feeling good, you know, like I was ready to go. My legs felt a little bit more tonight than I would have would have liked and I messed up a couple of things like my finish was a bit long and my last turn was a bit iffy but yeah like obviously still happy with the PB and you know it's great that I can walk away and and that I've got something to work on for next time. Must be very encouraging for the other your main events 200 IM 400 IM uh, the like uh, getting PBs in some of these other middle distance events. Yeah I mean like I said it before if you can do all the 200s right and you're competitive across the board in the 200s then that 400 am is going to be good because usually the second 100 and the and each of those 200s is sort of that's the most similar to the 400 am so look if i can nail all those 200s and, and start putting forward some decent times then that, that 400 am is going to be nice your strategy for coming into these championships you had the luxury of having already qualified uh, in doha did that change your approach leading in? Um, you know, was there less of a taper? Did you swim through? Yeah, for sure. I mean, once I had that qualification ticked off, it just meant that I could come in here not as rested as I would usually have been. Um, I just had a nice, like, week of drop taper. So, look, doing, doing these sort of times off a, a smaller taper has been, you know, I'm, I'm stoked.
One final question. It must have been an absolute dream come true to be a world champion for the first time in the 400 IM. How has that been since uh, February? Yeah, I mean, I came home and I sort of got put straight back in my place, which is good. You know, Mitch has been great. Um, just making sure that, you know, it doesn't matter what I do there, I've still got the, the task at hand in July. So, but obviously, you know, it's, it's a good first step, you know, that, that world championship um, was, you know, it's obviously wasn't a personal best, but it's a time that, you know, I was happy with and it's good to move forward with it. And hopefully by the time I get to Paris, I'm swimming way faster than that. And uh, also trying to fit in a bit of Manu practice as well. Yeah, I mean, you saw it, I wasn't very good. <laughs> Well done to Lewis Clearbet, ladies and gentlemen, 200 metre freestyle national champion. Straight back into the racing. Now the next event on the programme is the 200 metres freestyle for men multi-classification. Introducing swimmers to you now. In lane seven from Hiratonga Sun Devils, Guy Harrison. Lane two from Pukekohe Swim Club, Joel Watkins. Lane six from Club 37, Tate Pichon. Lane three from Club 37, David Beck. Lane five from Selwyn Swim Club, Finn Russ. And lane four from Blenheim Swimming Club, Jack Bugler. Well, Steve, Jack Bugler has had a really good um, champ so far. Uh, we saw him in the 800 metres freestyle last night. And uh, the 2.09.52 this morning, he's put himself in a position with the S14s to be a good advantage in front. But of course, there's different classifications here. So the very smart people in the, uh, the technical room will decide who wins this event, but uh, Jack Bugler is sitting in lane four. Yeah, he had a really good swim this morning, Scotty. I think he actually uh, saved up for that second 100, so let's see if he gets a little bit more going in this first 100 tonight. And then uh, same aggression in the second, 200, uh, second 100, sorry, uh, for a completely faster time overall. He's clearly been working hard and training. He's got a good back end, like you say. And Finn Russ is turn second. Yeah, these guys will also be going for their own individual classification records as we go through. So good to see these guys racing, using each other to help each other get a little bit faster in these competitions. It's great to see. And we've seen Tate Pichon get PBs every time he's swum so far. We've got uh, our local guy Harrison there, Joel Watkins, been on the podium as well. David Beck, uh, a regular. It's now training for Club 37. Nice strong swim here by Jack through the second 100 again. He uh, hasn't stopped that kick going the whole way, Scotty, so he's really loving uh, racing here in the Hawks Bay this week so far. Finn Russ coming home strong as well on this last 50. Oh, Jack really consistent, six beat kick, nice and strong into this finish. And Jack Bugler just outside his heat, his very good heat swim this morning. And Finn Russ. He has gone three seconds quicker and a new New Zealand record for Finn Russ. He's 
just happy about that and as he should be. Great to see all those uh, young guys uh, improving from their heats finals. Uh, heats the final, Scotty. I mean, that means they're, um, they're really stepping up in these nice swims and enjoying the crowd atmosphere as well. And love it when there's a New Zealand record in, the, in every race almost. Well done. And we're going to catch a word with Finn Russ who won the event. Come over here, Finn. Let's have a chat. Congratulations on your win. 2.13, that's nearly one and a half seconds underneath your old record. How do you feel? Oh, I feel very happy about myself. It's good to see you again, Scott. Like, it's been so long, I haven't seen you. And now I'm back at Opens, and I'm back competing again. Yay! And what have you got to say down the camera? Have you got anyone you'd like to thank or... Um, or recognised for your swim tonight? Uh, yes, I want to say thank you to my new coach, Ben, from Sound Swim Club. So that's the club I swim for now. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ben, for so much for getting me, getting me here to this meet. It's a big competition and opens. I want to say thank you very much, Ben. You're the best and you're awesome. And your swim tonight of 2.13, you have obviously been working very, very hard in training to get faster. Um, tell us a little bit about your training. So in training, I always work really hard. I'm focused on my goal, which is to get like real good times. And I always, I always work very hard. Round of applause for Finn Russ, ladies and gentlemen, a well-deserving national champion. We'll see you again soon, I, re I do hope. We'll be back right after this break to resume the finals program. Hope you're enjoying the action. We know a country where the food is bountiful and the wine is beautiful. Where the skies are big because the horizons are wide. So the warm, gentle landscape stretches out forever. A country where the food offering spans from pick your own to picking it up from a roadside stall or a farmer's market to taking your pick from restaurant menus that are as good as anywhere in the world. And so is the wine. This is a country that will refresh you and recharge you and just make you feel a whole lot better about things. This country is food and wine country. But you might know it as Hawke's Bay. Well, welcome back, uh, Steve. Uh, a really exciting first half of this session number four. We kicked off with that relay with the Masters, which was a lot of fun, but then straight into the men's 100-metre backstroke. Your thoughts? Yeah, it's, uh, obviously those guys were a little bit gutted not to get that qualifying time, but nonetheless, um, Jeff Coat, another national uh, championship to his belt. And likewise with the women's event, Helena Gasson, just 0.3 of a second outside that New Zealand record. Not quite good enough to get under that minute and that 59.99 tonight. Yeah, but as we hear, she's um, obviously still got that 200 uh, backstroke coming up, so that's a good, a good set for that event as well. That's right. We then move to the 50 metres butterfly. Cameron Gray, quite a comfortable win for him. Yeah, look nice and solid. I'm sure he, everyone always wants to go faster in the sprint events. Um, but once again, more events coming this week. That's right, and then Hazel, our hand, uh, didn't quite get under that 26, a little bit disappointed, but probably got that standard that raised that bar very high for herself. Yeah, and you know, like we said, everyone always wants to go faster, 100 fly tomorrow, that's the one she really wants to get. That's right, uh, and uh, Chloe Gladwin, the third gold medal for her, she did a great job, and a 16 and under New Zealand record, well done to Chloe Gladwin, and then the 200 freestyle for men. 
Yeah, uh, all class in that sort of uh, last 50 metres there by Lewis to really push uh, for that New Zealand record from Matt Stanley. So great to see him lifting up and doing some different events this, this championship. So good to see um, Zach Reed getting under that uh, 149 mark as well. And then Finn Russ just showing how excited you should be for winning a national title. Fantastic to see him, and I hope we see him again. Yeah, well, another national record in the, in the para multi-class. So, yeah, great to see Finn. Excited to be here in the Hawke's Bay in this great facility. Well done. We'll be back after this break for the medal ceremonies for the first races this evening. Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. Able body and multi-classification, thank you. Well, welcome back. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the action there at home and here in the Hawke's Bay Regional Aquatic Centre. Our medal ceremony brought to you by All Proof Industries. And the first medal ceremony for this evening will be the men's 100 metres backstroke in third place in 54.65 is Zach Dell from Club 37. Silver medalist from Neptune Swim Club, Kane follows 54.46. And winning the gold medal from Club 37, Andrew Jeffcoat, Presenting the medals is life member of Swimming New Zealand, Mary McFarland. We move now to the next medal ceremony is the women's 100 backstroke. Third place, the bronze medalist from Club 37, Gabby Farmacelli. Silver medalist from Hedatonga Sun Devils in 101.48, Emma Godwin. And winning the gold medal in one minute, 0.51 from Coast, Helena Gasson. <laughs> Moving to event number nine, the men's 50 metres butterfly. Bronze medalist from St Paul's in 24.50, Ben Littlejohn. Silver medalist from Viking Swim Club, Chris Elson, 24.03. And winning the gold medal, Cam Gray from Coast, 23.79. Moving to event 10, the 50 metres butterfly for women. The medal ceremony, third bronze medal to Zoe Pedersen in a new New Zealand 16 year old age group record from Coast Swimming Club. Zoe Pedersen, well done. Silver medalist, and I believe a PB2, 26.58 from Coast, Laura Quilter. And winning 
and 26-1-1 from Phoenix, Hazel Auerhand. Move to the event 107, the 100 butterfly for men, multi-classification. Bronze medal goes to Joel Watkins of Pukekohe Swim Club, 110.19. Silver medal from North Shore Swimming Club is Asha Smith-Franklin, 101.42. And winning the gold medal, Denver Xavier in 108.50 from Club 37. Now to event 108, the 100 butterfly for women, multi-classification. Silver medalist from Wharanui Swim Club, 113.65, Lily Fox Mason. And winning the gold medal from Whakatane Swimming Club, 118.93, Chloe Gladwin, also a S19 New Zealand record. 16 and under. Event 11, the 200 freestyle for men in the medal ceremony. Bronze medalist in 150.29 from Whananui Swim Club, Matt Hutchins. Silver medal from Neptune, 148.90, Zach Reed. And winning the gold medal from Club 37, 147.18, Lewis Clearbert. Next medal presentation for event 109, the men's 200 freestyle multi-classification. Bronze medal goes to Joel Watkins from Pukekohe Swim Club, 222.13. Silver goes to Jack Bugler from Blenheim Swim Club, 209.79. And winning the gold medal from Selwyn Swim Club, Finn Russ, 213.15. And a new New Zealand record for S19. Thank you to Mary McFarland for presenting the medals. We are now going to award some Further Swimming New Zealand awards, starting with the Domestic Para Swimmer of the Year. The Domestic Para Swimmer of the Year is presented to a para swimmer who has excelled in New Zealand competitions during the 23 calendar year. The winner is Asha Smith Franklin from North Shore. Asha receives this award for his consistently strong performances across the calendar year, breaking, get this, 53 New Zealand records across 2023. This is the first time Asha has received this award. Well done, Asha. Next up is the Zonal Emerging Swimmer of the Year. These awards are presented by the New Zealand Swimming Alumni to up-and-coming swimmers from each of the four zones and a para-swimmer who has excelled in the qualifying period in long or short course swimming. Nominees must be under the age of 19 years at the end of 2023 and not have won the overall award previously. The zonal winners receive $500 award. All-Star Zone Emerging Swimmer of the Year the winner of the All-Star Zone is Finn Harland from Capital Now Coast. <laughs> the 
The next award is the Marco Zone Emerging Swimmer of the Year. And the winner, who is not here tonight, but we want to recognise her, is Brooke Bennett from Vikings. And that's accepted by Rolly Crichton, coach of Vikings. And the next award is the Emerging Para Swimmer of the Year. The winner of the Emerging Para Swimmer of the Year, also not here tonight, but we want to, uh, to acknowledge them, is Erin Knox from Swim Zone Racing. Well done, Erin, if you're watching at home. The Aquanites and Harlequin Zonal Emerging Summer of the Year will be presented in upcoming nights with the overall Norma Williams Cup presented on Saturday night. Well done to all of those award winners. We'll be back after this break for the next event on the program, the 100 metre breaststroke final for the men. Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. Welcome back into live coverage of the Apollo Projects New Zealand Swimming Championships. And this is the fourth session, the second of the final session here live from the Hawke's Bay Regional Aquatic Centre. Thanks for joining us. The next event is event 12, the final of the men's 100 metres breaststroke. Introducing the finalists to you now in lane eight from Napier Aqua Hawks, Caleb Carlisle. Lane one from Faranui Swim Club, Max Gardner. Lane seven from North Shore Swimming Club, Harrison Cook. Lane two from Alexandra Swim Club, Caleb Ludlow. Lane six from Club 37, Eli Litton. Lane three from North Shore Swim Club, Blair Helms. Lane five from Coast Swimming Club, Wilrick Kutsia. Lane four from Club 37, Josh Gilbert. Nice fast start from Josh Gilbert, the 22-year-old from Club 37 in lane four, the fastest breaststroker in New Zealand at the moment in the men's division. Yeah, nice and strong through this first 50. They don't want to overrate too much in this first part, Scotty, just so that they can make sure they're getting that full use of their leg drive as they go through. This is his main event. Josh Gilbert, he'll be putting everything on the line tonight. Soars through to a 28-4-3 through the first 50. Wilrick could see it also under 30 as is Blair Helms. It's all going to come down to the final 30 metres for Josh Gilbert. We'll see how much work he's put in here. Still rating well in the final stages. 
Really driving that head position down just to help keep his hips up nice and high. Really striving for that wall. He's looking good with five metres to go. Looking for a nice clean touch. He goes through 101.26. A half second improvement from the heats from this morning. And uh, it will be Blair Helms takes the silver and Wilrick Kutsia takes the bronze. Strong performance here by Josh. Straight from the start in that underwater. Come up, make sure he's holding his length. Then try to pick it up through into that second 50 and a nice improvement from this morning. And the official results here, Josh Gilbert, 101.26. Blair Helms comes through for the silver in 103.5. And Wurwa Kutsia from the Coast Swim Club, 104.21. Congratulations, Josh, on a national title. Just looking just a fraction outside of your best ever over the long distance, uh, the long course distance, but your reaction? Uh, I mean, I'm happy with the first, but yeah. I uh, probably look back over the race and find a few things that I could have worked on, but yeah. The hopes tonight in terms of time or result, uh, are you able to share that with us? I would have liked to uh, scare the New Zealand record a little bit, but obviously tonight wasn't the night. Another, uh, the rest of the program for you, 200 metre breaststroke? Yeah, 200 uh, tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to, so get a good sleep tonight, rest and recover, and hopefully uh, do a bit, bit better on that. Well done, Josh Gilbert, put, give me a, put your hands together for him for a national title, well done. Next up is the 100 metre breaststroke final for the women. Introducing finalists to you now in lane eight from Kofi Swimming Club, Sienna Morrison. Lane one from Central Hawks Bay Swimming, Paige Franklin. Lane seven from Kiwi is Meg McLaughlin. Lane two from Coast Swimming Club, Helena Hutmer. Lane six from North Shore Swimming, Melissa Cowan. Lane three from Coast, Zylika Pratt-Smith. Lane five from Waitakere Swimming Club, Brianna Crawford. And lane four from North Shore Swimming Club, Monique Wierazowski. Well, Steve, the clear favourite here, Monique Wierzowski, looking for a big performance from here tonight. Could this be an Olympic qualifying standard? Could it be close? 
She's got away nice and clean and fast. Yeah, she's been doing some really great improvements since she's been at that North Shore Club, leading on from uh, the World Juniors last year. So great to see her out in front already, having a crack at this time tonight. Now let's look at this split, the all-important split. She's already got a body length lead over the rest of the field. Monique Wierzowski turns under 31. That's faster than this morning. She went a 31 low, so a 30.96. She set herself up very, very well for a good time here. Monique Wierzowski, the 16-year-old from North Shore Swimming Club. Brianna Crawford sitting in second, the 200-meter specialist, training in the States. Zylika Pratt-Smith, the short course champion. But it is Monique Wierzowski. She's going to have it all her own way with 15 metres to swim. Starting to up the rating. What are we going to see for Wierzowski? 107.88. Just 0.06 of a second. Slower than the heat time this morning. And great to see consistently in the 107s now after doing that New Zealand record at the Auckland Championships a month ago. And let's have a look at second. Second was Brianna Crawford, 110.34. And third place, someone snuck a third there. Zalika Pratt-Smith was shut out of the medals. First breaststrokes are a really tough race in that, 100, Scott. You need so much power. You need so much endurance as well. It's, uh, it's a really challenging event, so it's great to see Monique consistently, like you said, in that 107 zone now. And Melissa well Cowan... She gets the bronze. Hi Monique, congratulations on a national title. Third or fourth time under 108, so you've got some real consistency there. How are you feeling? Yeah. That New Zealand record, I was there to witness that. I was watching my own kids, but also watching you at the Auckland Champs. Uh, that was an amazing performance, and you've continued to, to get around that 107 late. Yeah, I'm pretty happy being able to be a bit more consistent. <laughs> and uh, in terms of, you, you know, you're only 16 years of age, you've got a huge future, and uh, now with North Shore, how are you finding it at North Shore Swimming Club? Oh, it's been amazing, especially the team being so supportive. Loving it. Is there anyone now you'd like to say hello to in the crowd or through the camera at home? Oh, thank you, Mum and Dad, for always supporting me. Thank you to Water Construction for helping me get here. Thank you to Arena. <laughs> Round of applause for Monique Wierzowski, national champion, 100 metres breaststroke. So straight into our next event, it is the 200 metres freestyle women multi-classification and it's the final, let's introduce the swimmers to you now. In lane two from Aquagym Swimming Club, Mackenzie Drage. Lane six from Hamilton Aquatics, Melissa Donahue. Lane three from Selwyn Swim Club, Ella Ben. Lane five from Hamilton Aquatics, Quinn Pike. And lane four from Fakatane Swimming Club, Chloe Gladwin.
And away we go. 200 freestyle women, multi-classification, and uh, we've seen Steve, Chloe, Gladwin, just in the form of her life, uh, uh, hunting for a fourth gold medal in this event. Yeah, and backing up after uh, a New Zealand record in this event this morning, herself uh, and uh, Quinn Pike this morning, both under the old S19 record. So uh, whoever wins out of these two tonight uh, gets uh, potentially an NZR and the national title. And Chloe Gladwin, new onto the national event racing scene, but a really, really solid swimmer, holds 16 national records, perhaps a few more now, across the open and age group categories. And she's developing her racing really, really well after having debuted at the national events last year at the New Zealand Short Course. And uh, big ups to her coach, Mason Pickering. And Quinn Pike, just introducing Quinn, uh, one of uh, a swag of Hamilton Aquatics multi-classification swimmers competing at national events. And Oni Young finding her place in the sport, but holds plenty of promise and looking to settle in after having raced a lot of the summer and trading national records with Chloe Gladwin. Well, these two girls are really putting it to each other tonight. So through uh, that first 50 almost in the same time and then again in that second 50. So... It's going to be down to uh, who's got that little bit extra endurance, potentially. We obviously know Chloe's been uh, really strong in the back end of her races as well. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting finish here. Uh, and as you say, both in the same classification. And someone's going to have to look over and say, I want it more than you do. And there might be a change to the stroke rating. There might be a little bit more kick coming. But pretty much turning together, Steve, this one's going to be a goodie. Just point... One five of a second in it. Here we got Quinn looking over straight at uh, Chloe in the, the lane next to her. So she's going to know that what she's going to do. Chloe's looking her way, looking at the coach, probably cheering her on as well. This is getting uh, nice and tight between these two young ladies. Chloe Gladwin knows how to win. She's done it three times already. But uh, here comes a fast finishing Quinn Pike. But I think Chloe Gladwin has done enough in that last lap she does to win uh, in a 2.23.82 and Steve am I wrong in saying that is another New Zealand record it is for Chloe Gladwin and a national title perhaps we'll wait till the uh, the swimming New Zealand team deem the results and over there in lane 2 that is Mackenzie Drage her best time of 3.20.01 in the S8 physical impairment class and for those uh, new to the disability classes the lower the number uh, the more severe the physical impairment and uh, just looking for PB says a 320.01 and I think she's going to go under that she's just in the final three or four meters here and that's a good PB for Mackenzie Drage. And here is Melissa Donoghue, who's had a busy, busy program, coached by Matt Wolf. She's represented New Zealand at Special Olympic World Summer Games. And represented New Zealand at the Virtus Global Games last year. And... Uh, Still at a competitive, top competitive level at 36 years of age. Well done to Melissa Donahue. 356.96. Well done, ladies. So well done to Chloe on that win. And it was Quinn Pike second. And Ella Ben from Selwyn takes out the bronze medal there. Next event on the program, event 14, the women's 200 metres freestyle. Please put your hands together and welcome our B finalists to the pool deck.
the B final of the women's 200 metres freestyle four lengths of the pool to swim. Lane one, Maddie Horton, Jazzy. Two, Brooke Miles, Natai Tuatia Atarika swimming. Uh, three, Eva Allen, Club 37. Four, Ruby Heath, Neptune Swim Club. Five, Jessie Welsh, Club 37. Six is Amelia Finer, Neptune Swim Club. Seven, Talita McEwen, Mount Monganui Swimming Club. And lane eight, Sophie Hay, Hamilton Aquatics. These women will be looking to go a little bit faster than what they swam this morning, Scott, to uh, potentially improve once again from heat to final and then uh, looking for their own personal best. Got Jesse Welsh leading out here in this first 100 metre next to her, Ruby Heath, known more for the 10k open water swimming, so good to see her in the pool trying to um, keep improving on that speed. Yeah, some good early speed from Jesse Welsh. She was part of that uh, 4x100 metre freestyle relay last night, unfortunately DQ'd, but uh, she showed some good speed there, but now starting to be caught by Ruby Heath, the open water specialist. Uh, got a lot of endurance down there from Otago. And it is lane six here. This is Amelia Finer, another one of the Neptune swimmers. Starting to emerge in the second half. Yeah, Ruby Heath showing her endurance here in this uh, second half as well. So we know she's going to have a pretty strong finish. 31.47. Fastest of all those girls on that 50, so she's really put the hammer down on that one. She'll be wanting to hold it strong now through this last part. Jessie will be looking across to her feet now, wanting to pick it up. Talitha McEwen in lane seven, and Amelia Finer taking on for that third position in this B final. And Jessie Welsh holding on to second at the moment, and uh, Ruby Heath may be looking to go into the 205s, 204s here. Let's see where she lands. A 204.29, great swim for Ruby Heath. And uh, she probably doesn't want to hear it. That would have made it easily into the A final. But she's produced a much better performance this evening in the B final. Yeah, solid second 100 there for Ruby. So yeah, really good swim and uh, good improvement. And there's the result, 204.29, back to Jessie Welsh, and then Amelia Finer uh, from Neptune takes third in that B final. Moving now to the A final of the women's 200 metres freestyle, introducing your finalists in lane eight from Mount Monganui Swim Club, Molly Shivnan. Lane one from Club 37, Letitia Lee Transom. Lane seven from St. Peter's Swimming Club, Milana Tapper. Lane two from North Shore Swimming Club, Summer Osborne. Lane six from Hedatonga Sun Devils, Nikki Venema. Lane three from North Shore Swim Club, Chelsea Edwards. Lane five from Neptune Swim Club, Caitlin Deans. And lane four from Neptune Swim Club, Erica Fairweather. Well, the one we have been waiting for, the women's 200 metres freestyle, where spots will be available for the 4x200 metre freestyle relay in Paris. And essentially, we're looking for the top three finishers in this event. 
which will help determine who those four swimmers are. Erica Fairweather, 0.01 of a second outside her own New Zealand record this morning in great form and already uh, reached the qualifying standard for Paris. And at this stage, uh, we'll have to just go on uh, what we see in front of us, Erica Fairweather. And look at this, Letitia Lee Transom leads the race at the moment. Some very good early speed here, 54.4 in the relay last night. Letitia Lee Transom leads this 200 meter freestyle over Erica Fairweather, looking over, keeping her calm through the first 100. This is where we really saw Erica keep within her rating, had a really great race plan. Letitia gave up that 100 back for this event tonight. She wants to be a part of that relay team, Scott. Letitia Lee Transom turns first, second Fairweather, third is Chelsea Edwards. Can Chelsea Edwards hold on to this third spot? Yeah, Erica holding strong here on her form, looking at Kosh. She'll be losing, using Letitia in this one just to bring her home. We know she's going to have that back end from her 400 and 800 pedigree. Erica Fairweather having to push herself hard through this. 126 through the 150 metre mark. Just half a second in front of Letitia Lee Transom. Two class acts down the final 50. It's going to be Erica Fairweather, Letitia Lee Transom. Who is going to take third position? Fighting hard in lane. It is Caitlin Deans in lane five. It is Chelsea Edwards in lane three. Erica Fairweather coming in. A new, no, 155.49. Letitia Lee Transom will get their second. No, it is Caitlin Deans for second. Third goes to Chelsea Edwards in a 201. What an exciting event. We better wait for the official times here, Scotty. Think potentially a scoreboard issue um, with uh, Letitia's trust. We'll wait for the official results on that. Let's just wait and see. <laughs> yeah. We'll to come up on the scoreboard. Those numbers all over the shop on the board there. So Letitia Lee Transom uh, confirming a soft touch on lane number one. So that will change the rankings. We'll hold our breath to see what those final rankings are. The people in that uh, glass room, they're doing all the work. Let's have a look at the result or the replay here of Erica Fairweather coming through that final 50, tearing a body length and a half out of the field and uh, to win in 155. And uh, definitely Letitia there on that replay in second place. So potentially Caitlin Dean's there for uh, third position. It could well be and uh, not of the business of disappointing people, but the board showed us something quite different. There we go. Erica Fairweather wins at Letitia Lee Transom uh, in a very good time of 158.42. And Caitlin Deans uh, will uh, likely be uh, considered for that relay at the moment. And we'll catch a word with Erica Fairweather, winner. And uh, a very, very uh, competitive race there. Eric, and congratulations on a national title, 155 solid swim there, just outside that blisteringly quick swim this morning. How are you feeling? Yeah, you know, I'm stoked that um, record's teasing me a little bit now, but, you know, any 155 swim's a good swim. Absolutely. Uh, you uh, pushed hard in that first 100 with Letitia out there in the outside lane. Could you see what was going on out there? Oh, absolutely. I knew Tisha was going to take it out fast, um, and so to have her right there was really cool. Absolutely. And to see sort of the rivalries and, and how it all unfolded with the potential of selection for that relay, uh, a really, really exciting race. Yeah, I know. We've been building this relay for so long now, um, since my first world, so it's going to be awesome come Paris. Well, congratulations on a national title for you. Look forward to seeing you in action again soon. Thank you very much. And we'll be back straight after the break with our next finals.
Well, welcome back to the Apollo Projects New Zealand Swimming Championships. Uh, that had every, everything, that 200 metre freestyle for women. We had a few issues just seeing the times and then a soft, soft touch by Letitia Lee Transom. Saw a, a few moments to get her actual time uh, and she was second in the end, well under two minutes. Well done to all of the swimmers and the women in that final. We move now to event 15, the four by 100 metre mixed medley relay, club relay. And I'd like to welcome uh, our finalists for this event. In lane seven, it is the Natai Tuatia Ataraika swimming team. Lane two is the North Shore Swimming Club B team. Lane six, Coast Swimming Club team. Lane three, the Club 37 B team. Lane five, North Shore Swimming Club. And lane four, Club 37. And this mixed medley relay, the teams can uh, decide which gender swims which stroke. And you can see here that we've got Alex Esposito in seven, Samuel Potching in five. Otherwise, we've got women swimming the first leg. And so the exciting thing about this relay is we will see the lead change quite a bit. And the men getting a nice handy lead for their teams at the moment. Monique Wierzowski lines up for North Shore, Josh Gilbert. So the two fastest 100 metre breaststrokers about to be swimming alongside each other. Let's see how Josh Gilbert goes about trying to catch Monique Wierzowski. Not often we see this. North Shores, Monique Wierzowski charges down the first 50. Great to see the different tactics here in this event, Scott. You know, you've got guys versus girls. It's always good fun for the clubs to start uh, in these events, see what their different strategies, see where their different strengths are. And now uh, great to see what splits they can do uh, through their um, each 100 metres for their team. Similar split for Monique Wierzowski at 30.9 through the 50. And Josh Gilbert just coming alongside now. And Club 37 will take the lead. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting towards the back end. Yes, Josh Gilbert coming up now. Lewis Clearberg going off next with Club 37. McAllister Clark for North Shore. And it'll come down to the two females in that 100 freestyle leg. Club and Lewis. 37 in the lead there, North Shore in second, and Co Swim Club in the bronze medal position at the moment. Sam Kenny for Coast in 
over there in six. Aiko Shibuya in three, Henry Williams in two, starting to come through for North Shore Swimming Club B. Great to see Lewis Clearbird doing these relays for Club 37 and really showing his form not only in the, the 200 meter events and the distance ones, but look what he does in these 100 meter ones as well. He really is flying, he's flying, flying Steve. Beautiful strokes. Such a great body position, Lewis Clearbert coming through for Gabby Farm Seeley. The sprint specialist, the 50 metre queen, Gabby Farm Seeley, and uh, takes them through. And it'll be pretty hard to catch Club 37 from here with uh, Chelsea Edwards fresh off her 200 freestyle 201. Summer Osborne's over there in one, Eva Allen in three, uh, sorry, in two, and Eva Allen in three. Club 37 well ahead in this race. It looks like a battle for that silver and bronze medal. Still have North Shore A in second, Coast Swim Club, Madison Kidd in third. These girls will be wanting to push it for their team to get themselves a medal. Eva Allen coming up for Club 37 in lane three. Just outside the New Zealand record for Club 37, a win for them. And who's going to get second here? It's anyone's guess. I think a fast finishing lane three, Club 37B. It's going to be a one-two for Club 37. Third will go to North Shore A. And uh, what a result for Club 37, one and two. And just a couple of seconds outside of that New Zealand record. Relay is always a great way to finish our evenings here at the national championships. Good to see them put their foot on the blocks for those uh, national titles for their club, Scott. And looking at those splits of the winning team, 102-1-2 for Isabel Gibson. Josh Gilbert did a 1 minute 0.88. Clearbert 52.34 hundred fly. And Gabby coming back with a 56 I think that's under another JPP time there for Isabel Gibson as well at the start up and lead off for that one. So well done there for uh, Club 37. Here we are with the Club 37 team winning the 4x100 metre mixed medley relay. Josh, pretty hard to back that up straight after your 100 breaststroke, but a solid performance from you to bring the team home as well. Uh, yeah, mate. Um, it's obviously a disappointing individual swim, but uh, getting the first and second uh, in the relay uh, really you know, washes the pain of yesterday away and makes you feel a little bit better. Good stuff, Isabel. Uh, great start for you, 100 backstroke. Uh, you had the obviously guys uh, starting first, so you had to really just give it everything you've got to give your team the best opportunity. Yeah, it was good. I went out of PV, so pretty stoked with that. 102, and uh, Gabby uh, came home, 56. Good solid uh, swim for you to come home. And uh, how are you feeling about this win? Yeah, I'm just proud of our team for getting up and having some fun tonight. And yeah, I'm excited for the rest of the week. Absolutely, and uh, Lewis, um, you've been up here a few times with me, a 52-300 butterfly, you must be pretty happy with that, you looked like you were soaring. Yeah, it was alright, I mean, it's a relay swim, right, like, so I was just doing for these guys, and we're so proud of what these guys have done so far this week, and, you know, this competition is a, is a huge wild ride, you know, everyone's going for the Olympic spots, but I feel like as a relay team, you know, we all come together and just have fun, so it's cool that we can, we can do that. Well, congratulations on a 1-2, Club 37. Give them a round of applause. If you could now put your hands together and thank our technical officials as they make their way from pool deck.
Well, welcome back in uh, and a wrap of the second half, I guess, Steve. Some uh, great performances, 100 breaststroke, Josh Gilbert. He, you can see he was a little disappointed. He wanted to try and go a little bit faster, but he redeemed himself a little bit with that faster relay split there to get the Club 37 team home. Yeah, we know how challenging uh, that 100 breaststroke really is for these, uh, for these guys. So uh, what he did, though, was improve from the heat to final. So that's good, a uh, good step for the rest of the competition. That's right, Monique Wierzowski again into the 107s, that consistency there. Um, I guess she was hoping, we were all hoping, a bit of a 107 low perhaps. It wasn't for her tonight, but she's got more events to come this champs. Well, when you think about her improvement just from last year to here, well, it's already a really big one. So the fact that she's there, consistently staying in that, in that zone, that's a good thing. We will see a jump again. Absolutely. 200 freestyle multi class, Chloe Hadwin fourth uh, win of the champs so far the most successful swimmer in the champs on the podium yeah and uh, you know only 16 from the Whakatane swimming club and then uh, to add on the uh, national record on the S19 as well so she just uh, keeps uh, winning those golds 200 meter freestyle for women um, Erica winning in that 155 and Letitia with a 158 very good time out of lane one uh, and Caitlin Deans, um, she was third home. So looking at that relay for Paris, how does that shape up? Yeah, well, you add on um, Eve, to uh, Eve Thomas, who wasn't swimming in that 200 uh, free tonight, and you add on her time from what they did at Doha. It's uh, that same team that uh, came uh, in that final there. So that team will be looking really strong uh, for Paris. And we finished off with that uh, Club 37 win, a 1-2 for Club 37. Uh, great to see the teamwork and the depth of that club to bring home two, two uh, first and second golds, uh, gold and silver. Yeah, always great to do it for your club and, and see what it does for each other. So Isabel Gibson there, another JPP faster swim than she did in her own personal 100 back. That's what you can do in these relays. Um, you can get up and be faster than you've ever been before. Well, thanks for joining me in commentary tonight, Steve. We're going to be back after the short break for the second of the medal ceremonies. Do stay with us. Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. Well, welcome back, a very busy night of racing, certainly compared to the first night where we were all done within about 45 minutes. This one was an action-packed second final session. Uh, and in the whole day, really, when we think about it, we've had some spectacular performances. And looking ahead to session number five, we start with the 400 freestyle men and women plus the multi-classification, then the 100 butterflies men and women, the 50 butterfly men and women multi-classification, the 200 breaststroke will be tomorrow, and the 50 metre backstroke men, women and multi-classification. So that'll be live from 9.55am uh, tomorrow. So... Another full program of heats as we get into day three tomorrow. And I think we're about ready to go with the second of our medal ceremonies. And we're going to kick off with... Uh, where are we? We're going to go with the 100-metre uh, breaststroke for men. And these medal ceremonies presented by All Proof Industries. And that's the silver for Blair Helms there. And it was Wilrick Kutsia, apologies, getting the bronze from Coast. And Josh Gilbert, 101.26, the gold medal from Club 37. Next up is the women's 100 metre breaststroke medal ceremony. Bronze medalist in 111.18 from North Shore, Melissa Cowan. Medals presented by Life Member of Summer New Zealand, Leslie Huckins. Silver medal, 110.34 from Waitakere Swimming Club, Brianna Crawford. And gold from North Shore Swimming Club, Monique Wierzowski, 107.88.
Moving to the 200 freestyle for women multi-classification. Bronze medal, two, uh, 231 18 from Selwyn Swim Club, Ella Ben. Silver medal from Hamilton Aquatics, 224 27, Quinn Pike. And winning the gold, Chloe Gladwin in a new S19 New Zealand record from Fakatane, 223.82. Next up is the 200 meter freestyle for women medal ceremony. Bronze, two minutes, 0 0.72. Neptune Swim Club's Caitlin Deans. Silver medal, Letitia Lee Transom, Club 37, 158.42. And winning the gold medal from Neptune in 155.49, Erica Fairweather. <laughs> medal presentation for four by 100 meter medley mixed relay. Bronze medal goes to the North Shore Swimming Club team of Samuel Potching, Monique Wierzowski, McAllister Clark and Chelsea Edwards. Silver medalists, Club 37 B team. Jesse Welch, Eli Litton, Eko Shibuya, and Eva Allen. And the gold medalist, the club 37A team, 351 63, Isabel Gibson, Josh Gilbert, Lewis Clebert, and Gabby Farmacili. And thank you to Swimming New Zealand Life member Leslie Huckins for presenting those medals. Congratulations to all of our medalists this evening and to any swimmer that uh, has swum in finals and B finals. That's a wrap for session number four. Thanks for joining us here in the Aquatic Centre or at home on the Fakata Māori YouTube channel. We'll be back tomorrow with session five. The heat's starting at five minutes to ten. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do join us tomorrow.